Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, we made a post in here in Facebook, and, uh, and this is Brother Osama webpage, Osama Talk, and uh, telling people about our show. So what we will talk about today is some comment there. Uh, you know, Facebook is a very funny uh, form. It's a, uh, it's good and it's funny. Sometimes it's really stupid. But anyway, we go in here. We see a Muslim. He posts answering Christianity website. I don't know what this have to do with us, but anyway, uh, supposedly the Muslims. They are saying, oh, this is a website, they can answer you. Well, you know, the one who made the website, heh, we smoke them. Not only they cannot answer us. Actually, they are the one, Osama Abdullah, the one who debated me, admitted that his prophet did live in illusion. He imagined things never happened. Go and watch my debate with him. And he is the one who admitted that magic is not exist. And he is the one who admitted that his prophet was under black magic he was controlled by the devil and he is the one who admitted that his prophet was so clean to the point he cleaned himself from lies <laughs> so what website you are coming with anyway in here we see uh, a lady in here her name is joyce i don't know like maybe this is a, a fake person using a uh, because you know if you are defending islam you cannot be joyce what joyce call yourself fatima uh, of course, uh, you know, Um Muhammad, Um Ahmad. But anyway, so Joyce in here is saying, uh, they are talking about the one who established the website, if he left Islam or not. I don't care really if he left Islam or not, this is his business. But in here, uh, we see some funny comments showing the ignorance of people. Uh, as an example, uh, like in here, she's saying, that answering uh, 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 Christianity website came before answering Islam, which is which is false, you know. And even if it's came before, so what, you know, like unbelievable. Anyway, but it's not. You can go right now. You can check the the the, uh, the website. You will see the owner and when the site established. If we go and we check who is a domain, and you can do that yourself, you will see that this site created in the twenty uh, 23rd of March. 1997 at 5 uh, I think this is p.m. Uh, exactly so uh, we go and we will see uh, the other website which this is answering Christianity as you see uh, answer Islam sorry this is answering Islam 19 1997 20, the 23rd of March we go in here we will see that this website established at uh, 21st of September 1998 which means more than a year, almost a half. So, you know, like what this is fabrication all is about. And, you know, who cares if it's first? But even this one, you are wrong in it. You are lying. Now we continue. Just to show you how you are ignorant and you are stubborn, like like, like sometimes people, they are stubborn like a mule. Now we continue and here we see. Who cares about who, who was first? Well, it's a website. Anyway, uh, we continue in here and she is saying, uh, let's show you some of her comments. Oh, she became a Muslim. She is saying she left the Christianity. She became a Muslim. Why? Because she's saying, uh, I became Muslim and ain't looked back since. I don't believe in blood, a thorning. Okay, so why you became a Muslim then? Because Muslims, the biggest celebration of Islam is the celebration is called the Eid al-Adha. The, the, the Eid of uh, uh, sacrificing blood. Adha, slaughtering animals. Oh, so, so why they slaughter animals if they don't believe? They slaughter to who? And do you know that the first one, according to Islam, the first one who slaughtered to sacrifice to God, it exists in the Quran, and those are the children of, children of Adam? When Allah, he inspired Adam to uh, ask his children to slaughter or to give, to sacrifice. So here we go, your religion believe in sacrifice. You see your ignorance, this is first number, number one, and let me show you the reference before we continue. As long as you claim that you are a Muslim now, here we go, good for you. Chapter 5, verse number 27. The story of Cain and Abel, the brothers who provide Allah a sacrifice. Because Allah, go and read the story according to Muhammad. Allah inspired Adam huh, uh, uh, to tell his children, both of them, they want to marry one sister, according to the story of the Quran. Both, they want to marry one sister. She is beautiful. The other one, she is ugly. So they are, she, she, they are fighting over a beautiful sister. Amazing. Anyway, so in here, what Allah did, He asked them to give sacrifice, and both they give sacrifice. One of them He gave crops, vegetables, 
and the other one he gave a sheep. Allah, he chose a sheep, and he ate it. He sent the fire from heaven, consumed that sheep. So, if you are against the blood sacrifice, first of all, your God in the Quran, he is the one who asked his, uh, 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 he asked Abraham, by the way, to, to sacrifice his son. If you Muslims against sacrifice, so what, what the point of sacrificing? Then Allah, he asked Abraham, in some stories Muslims, they say it was Ishmael, some stories they say it was Isaac, because they are confused religion as usual. Uh, however, why Allah is asking Abraham to sacrifice, if you are against sacrifice, sacrificing the blood of a human being? And then Allah, he sent a sheep from heaven, which actually is symbolic for what Jesus will do. Otherwise, you tell me, why he did not tell uh, Abraham to choose one of his sheep and slaughter it? No, Allah, he sent a sheep down from heaven. And the Quran call it Azim, and this is one of the name of Allah. Since when the sheep will be called Azim, when this is the name of God. Now in here, just to finish this one in here, uh, Allah is saying, uh, uh, Muhammad, oh, tell them. Huh? Uh, and by the way, uh, in here, when Allah is uh, telling a story, the story is very funny. Uh, but I will not go deep, just to answer this woman for now. Uh, you will see in here that there is both of them they give uh, they give uh, uh, sacrifice one of them his sacrifice was vegetables and the other one his sacrifice was crops and allah accepted the meat the blood one well if islam is against the blood sacrifice why allah accepting the blood one he don't accept the vegetables it's very clear that your god allah is not is uh, is not vegetarian if you read with me here it says that allah at that uh, uh, Cain, uh, uh, their Abel, Abel's a, a case was a ram. He gave Abel, he gave a ram. This is his sacrifice, which means he slaughtered it. And Cain, he gave a crops, gave a green crops. Now, which one was accepted? And it was accepted from one of them, namely Abel, which means your God Allah ac accept only the sacrifice of a blood from Abel, as you see in here. It was a ram. So it's silly, you who know, ignorant, you know. I think those those people, maybe maybe she, you, you are a lonely woman trying to uh, get attention to yourself because this, those who convert into Islam in the West usually they have a lonely issue. You know, they would get some attention. They convert to Islam, so people they start talking to you. Oh, what you did that? Why you did this? Why well, you became a Muslim? You need attention, right? You're not spotlight. Okay, we we'll put the spotlight in here. But the spotlight in here showing us that you are ignorant. You converted to a religion you do not know what it's teaching. Now we continue with your argument. Let us go. So the first thing we prove that Islam teach sacrificing of a blood and it is a religion who preach that God accept, give you his acceptance by sacrificing. You sacrifice to him blood and he accept it. You sacrifice to him green crops, he don't. Number two, your God Allah is the one stealing the story from the way from the Bible about uh, Abraham. He ordered Abraham to sacrifice his son. And then he sent from the heaven a sheep to be sacrificed and call it Azim, which means the great. Hmm? We continue. She said that the Christians believe in three gods. Since when? I challenge you to show me one verse in the Bible saying we believe in three gods. Actually, you Muslims who believe in many gods, because Muslims believe in Tawheed. Tawheed in Arabic means unification. If your God is one, you do not do unification. So you will see the Muslim says Allah and Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Who in Arabic is Wa and mean end Allah and Akbar Akbar was a status he was a pagan a god a idol and Allah same Allah is Samad as Samad is an idol uh, go and watch my videos I have or read my book the deception of Allah and learn so we Christians from the open the book of Genesis from the beginning you see God God not gods you worship your God alone alone you see the word alone so you know Take your drugs and your medicine and go and read again if you know how to read. But anyway, you choose a prophet who do not know how to read, how to write, to be your teacher. So no wonder, as you Muslims, they claim Muhammad was illiterate, right? Now we continue. Uh, uh, she is saying, save your trinity except a narration, because I have heard it before. Oh, just wait, just wait. A trinity, uh, uh, you know, let us talk about trinity. You know, uh, uh, when we have a trinity, does that mean we have three gods? All of all of us as a Christians, we believe that God is one. 
Now, God can appear to us in three persons. Why not? If he cannot, he cannot be God because he is the Almighty. Can God come to us in one billion person? If you say no, it means he cannot be God. The word Almighty is the one who can do everything and whatever he wants. So when you say to him, God, you cannot be that, you are showing me you're ignorant. Actually, you are showing me how uh, the, the foolishness of Muhammad when he said the following in the Quran. Chapter 6, verse 101, Allah is saying, how Allah can have a, a son when he doesn't have a girlfriend? The word in here is used is sahiba. Sahiba means girlfriend, not even a wife. Look how low class Muhammad is. Anyway, so how he can have uh, a son if he doesn't have a girlfriend? Well, this is because he is a stupid God. Because who of the Christians believe that their God have a girlfriend and Jesus is the son of God from his girlfriend? This is showing me the stupidity of Muhammad who is coming with this Quran. Or at least the stupidity of Allah, if Allah is supposed to is exist, right? Because as long as this is supposedly an answer for who? For the Christians who says Jesus is the son of God. So it's very clear the stupid creator of the Quran do not know what the son of God mean. He think that the Christians believe that God did marry Mary and they went to the honeymoon to the Caribbean islands and then they came back with Jesus. This is the stupidity of your God. So we see in here, Allah saying, not me, remember, and this is your Muslim translation, to him do the uh, primal or, uh, origin of the heavens and the earth. How can he, uh, look, 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 I want, you, I want you to focus with me in here in how can he have a son when he has no concert so Allah for him to have a son he have to get a woman so Allah like me he must be a man he cannot do the amazing miracles because we need to ask ourselves the same question if Allah using a logic saying how I can have a son without having a wife then we need to ask Allah how he himself in the Quran saying that Mary she have a son without having a man you idiot if you don't believe that any someone don't have a, 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 a woman to have a son, then you should not have, should not believe that Mary she can have a son without a man because this is impossible. So are you saying it's possible for Mary, and it's impossible for you? But Mary should not have a man, but you don't have a woman, but you cannot have a son because oh you don't have a woman, but Mary she can have a son because she have, she don't have a, a man. This is a stupid argument proving that the one who made the Quran is an idiot officially. In the top of that, that, look with me what Allah is saying about himself. How can, how can, let us use how can. How can Jesus be the son of no man? How can, I want to ask you Allah, as long you are questioning your ability, huh? that is answer, the answer is God is all about miracles. God can do everything, but you cannot. Because look, the one is saying to himself, how can I, huh? and the funny Allah speak about himself as a third person always. Proving that the one who made the book is not the one is speaking. There's somebody is making a story. Because if Allah is speaking there, he should say, how I can have a son, not how he. Aren't you the one is talking? How he can have a son? How can he have a son? So Allah cannot have a son without having a wife, but Mary, she can have a son without having a husband. Because the God of Mary is almighty. The God of Muhammad is a poo-poo. He cannot do anything. We see that Jesus can raise people from death by one word. Allah cannot. Allah said to Muhammad three times read and Muhammad still cannot read. Trust me, if Jesus said to a donkey, not to Muhammad, read, he will read in all languages. Because this is Jesus. The Almighty can do whatever he want. So we cannot compare between the God of Islam and the God of Christianity. The God of Christianity who control nature, actually even the Quran says that Jesus created from the mother bird. And he breathed into him and he became a flying bird. So right now we have in the sky, according to Quran, we have a flying bird created by Jesus and that makes Jesus creator. So when somebody speak, speak in their ignorance, at the same time, they are saying uh, uh, like three gods and a KKK, what the KKK have to do with Christianity? Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, KKK, those are not Christian sect. Christians are not sects. Christians are those who believe in Christ and they follow his teaching. Anyone go out of the teaching, he is no Christian. So either you are with him or you are against him. There is no soul, there is no gray color, either black or white. You are with or against. So be with the Christ and be saved before it's too late. You will not get the 72 versions in heaven. The Muslim men, they will not get them too. Thank you. Christ is Lord. See you soon.